Hi, everybody. Welcome to this quick and easy little screencast about how to use the e-tools today for problem number uh, 41 and 42 out of our CPM book. Okay, so you're probably looking at my website, mrwitcher.com, and we're just going to navigate over here to the links. And then right up here, CPM e-tools. Okay, hit that link. And then we have this little uh, section here. We are in chapter five. Now look, there's all this stuff. It's there. It was a major discovery last week. So use these tools. There's some for every chapter. What we're doing right now, see that guy? Uh, number 42, right? Makes sense. Here we go. Do, do, do. There we go, problem 42. It's going to be an algebra tiles tool. Now we have another link. I know there's lots of clicking and navigating here, but you know how to do that, right? There. So notice with this problem, we've got our uh, weight of the bunny, weight of the cat, all represented here, and we could work the problem. Let me show you how to use some of these tools though, in case you want to start from scratch. So for example, up here, I can uh, I want to clear these tiles out. I'm going to make this myself. Okay? So there's nothing there. And according to the book, see, I've got the book. We've got uh, 3x plus 5. So let's say I want to represent 3x plus 5. I can drag a tile over there from the pile. See? It's so easy. And if you get them anywhere close to each other, they snap into place, which is very cool. And if you change your mind, you want to put it back put it back. Very simple, very easy. Okay, so if I want 3x plus 5, I can just snap them right over there. And then I want my ones. See, I can snap it up here. I can put it over here. It doesn't matter. It's still one. So get creative with that if you want to. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Is that little green guy there? It tells you where it's going. Very fun. Now look at this. If I have this uh, tile here and I want to change the sign, like let's say I wanted this to be a negative one, double click. Whoops, that was wrong. Single click <laughs> changes the sign. One click on a tile changes its sign, okay? And it tells you right on it what it is. So you don't have to wonder, did I get the right color, okay? Also check it, this out with these uh, rectangular tiles. If you double click, look, it flips it around sideways. I don't know, it's kind of fun to play with. It doesn't really accomplish anything. There's the single click, changes the sign, double click, snap, right, put them back. That's really all you need to know. Okay, and uh, if you just create a big mess over there, you can go up here to your tools and just hit clear tiles and start over. So that's how you use this tool, the algebra tiles tool. So it's going to work great for this problem today, 41 and 42, but it's it could also work great as a study tool or a way for you to uh, get through your practice problems at home sometimes too. Great stuff. Remember it's there back here on my links page, right? Right there. There's something for every chapter. Thanks for watching and now uh, get to the lab or the library or wherever you're headed and uh, have fun with this, okay? Bye.